or a so-called Muslim is throwing a letter to someone who's dead talking about my son has diabetes and he needs some quick healing somewhere in the world some Muslim is worshipping other than Allah and giving what Allah deserves to not only live people dead people and they do the same thing that's why you find in Masjid the Nabawi there's Hurras around the grave because some people come and do crazy stuff thinking that they're gonna get some barakah from the Prophet ﷺ, and there's no barakah except in following the sunnah and the sunnah is that he said Allahumma la taj'al qabri eidan oh Allah do not make my grave a, a place where it's honored or visited often Eid is whatever happens every year wala wathan an yu'bad and not uh, an idol that is worshipped and people do just that they do just that so anyways here the shaykh is trying to emphasize look because he is the most servant yani he had the highest level of servitude this indicates that he has nothing to do with rububiya lordship he does not possess for himself or for others any benefit or harm and he has nothing to do with rububiya absolutely nothing بل هو عبد محتاج إلى الله مفتقر له يسأله ويدعوه ويرجوه ويخافه ويخافه. Rather he is a servant of Allah who is in need of Allah in uh, in a state of poverty towards Allah, asking Him, supplicating to Him, begging Him and fearing Him. بل إن الله أمره أن يعلن وأن يبلغ بلاغا خاصا بأنه لا يملك شيئا من هذه الأمور. Not only that, but Allah in the Quran. Commanded Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he should he should publicize and he should convey to the people a, a, a clear message that he does not possess any of these affairs. فقال قل لا أملك لنفسي لف قل لا أملك قل لا أملك لنفسي نفعا ولا ضرا إلا ما شاء الله ولو كنت أعلم الغيب لاستكثرت من الخير وما مسني السوء. Allah told him say I do not possess for myself any benefit or harm except what Allah wills and I do not know the unseen had I known the unseen I would have increased in goodness and in khair usually is for money I would, I would have had abundance of wealth because I know the future and I know the unseen and no harm would have ever touched me if you know that if you travel down the street you're gonna go and get in a car accident you go somewhere else huh? Say, so, okay, this is an accident because you know the unseen. You know what's written. So the Prophet ﷺ got poisoned. During the battlefield, he was, he was struck more than once. He was hurt. And he, he suffered what everyone suffers from as a human being. Had he known the unseen, nothing would have touched him. No harm would have come upon him. Because he knows the future, he would avoid it. طيب. وَأَمَرَهُ أَنْ يَقُولُ قُلْ لَا أَقُولُ لَكُمْ عِنْدِي خَزَائِنُ اللَّهِ وَلَا أَعْلَمُ الْغَيْبُ وَلَا أَقُولُ لَكُمْ إِنِّي مَلَكْ إِنْ أَتَّبِعُ إِلَّا مَا يُوحَى إِلَيْهِ And Allah also commanded him, say, I do not, I do not possess for you, I do not have with me the, the treasures of Allah, the khaza'in, whatever Allah has prepared from bounty and sustenance. وَلَا أَعْلَمُ الْغَيْبُ And I do not know the unseen. وَلَا أَقُولُ لَكُمْ إِنِّي مَلَكْ And I do not say that I'm an angel. إِنْ أَتَّبِعُ إِلَّا مَا يُوحَى إِلَيْهِ All I do is follow that which has been revealed to me. A regular man, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Wa amaruhu an yaqul, "Qul inni la amliku lakum darra wa la rashada. Qul inni la yujirani min Allahi ahdan wa lan ajidu min dunihi multahada." He also, he also, jalla wa ala commanded me say, "Say I do not possess for you any harm or any benefit. Say no one can protect me from Allah. No one can protect me from Allah. If Allah wanted something to fall upon me, so if no one can protect him, he can protect himself either." Alayhi salatu salam. وَلَنْ أَجِدُ مِنْ دُونِهِ مُلْتَحَدًا And I will not find no escape and no one to help me from the punishment of Allah if it were to come upon me uh, عليه الصلاة والسلام إِلَّا اسْتِثْنَاءً مُنْقَطِعَ أَيْ لَكِنْ أُبَلِّغُ بَلَاغًا مِنَ اللَّهِ وَرِسَالَاتِهِ Brother, I only convey the messages from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فالحاصل أن محمدا صلوات الله وسلامه عليه عبد لله ومقتدى هذه العبودية أنه لا حق له في شيء من شؤون الربوبية إطلاقا The bottom line summary of all this is that Muhammad peace be upon him is the servant of Allah and that is an indication that he has nothing to do with the attributes of lordship from creating and giving life and death and sustenance and what have you that we know that only Allah Azza wa Jal does uh, absolutely no share in that no share in that وإذا كان محمد رسول الله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه بهذه المثابة 
فما بالك بمن دونه من عباد الله فانهم لا يملكون لانفسهم نفعا ولا ضرا ولا لغيرهم ابدا وبهذا يتبين سفه اولئك القوم الذين يدعون من يدعون من يدعونهم اولياء من دون الله عز وجل he said and if, the, if Muhammad the messenger of Allah peace be upon him is in this particular status then what do you say about those who are lesser than him from among the average servants of Allah they do not possess for themselves any harm or benefit and not to anyone else absolutely none and by this we understand how feeble minded feeble minded yani small minded uh, the people who have claimed that they are awliya and awliya are helpers or protectors and what have you to them these are the special people who are close to Allah whom they call upon and this is very common back in our home where people will go to the grave of such and such which will be in the masjid in the masjid and they will have a tarih and they will have a, a nice fancy building and some fancy uh, fabric and it's like you go into a you know I don't know what it is as if you're visiting someone alive and the people they wipe the, 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 the fence outside thinking that there's barakah and all this and call these this is the wali of Allah this is the friend and the close person to Allah so I'm a bad person I'm a regular Muslim who comes to the masjid how am I gonna get with Allah uh, how would Allah forgive me this person Allah loves so I go to this person so I will get the love of Allah just like the mushrikeen there are no difference between Islam and any other religion at this point that's the concept of every other religion a mediator between them and Allah an inter, inter, uh, interceder or intercessor طيب وقوله ورسوله هذا أيضا وصف لا يكون لأحد بعد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لأنه خاتم النبيين فهو رسول, فهو رسول الله الذي بلغ مكانا لم, يبلغ لم يبلغه أحد من البشر بل ولا من الملائك بل ولا من الملائكة فيما نعلم اللهم إلا حملة العرش he says and the statement of Ibn Taymiyyah وأشهد أن محمدا عبده now we dealt with عبده what is intended by that now ورسوله he says this is also a description that does not fit anyone after the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم because he is the seal of all prophets and he عليه الصلاة والسلام has reached a certain uh, degree among humans that no one that we do not know of anyone who has reached it not even the angels Allahumma, Allahumma accept the, those who carry the throne the angels who carry the arsh of Allah Azza wa Jal وصل إلى ما فوق السماء السابعة when he went on Isra and Mi'raj he was taken above the seventh heaven and we don't know of any angel even the angels some of them are inhabitants of the first heaven second and third some of them never go beyond that and we don't know of anyone who has made it all the way even Jibreel at that point as he comes in a hadith he told them you continue when he took him up he said you continue no one has ever went beyond this point and even Jibreel alayhi salam could not go beyond that point the one who continued was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam this is in the Isra and Mi'raj when he spoke to Allah azza wa jal وصل إلى موضع سمع فيه صريف أقلام القضاء الذي يقضي يقضي به الله عز وجل في خلقه. He made it so high to the point that he was able to hear the sound of the writing, the sound of the writing of the decree, the qadar, the destiny that Allah عز وجل decrees for His servants. You know, ما وصل أحد فيه للعلم إلى هذا المستوى. No one has reached such a high level in knowledge to this extent. Except the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam وَكَلَّمَهُ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ بِدُونَ وَاسِطَةً And Allah Azza wa Jal spoke to him without, without any uh, one in between Direct As Allah spoke to Musa But when Allah spoke to Musa Alayhi Salatu Wasallam Musa was on earth Here Allah spoke to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Up there In the heavens Near to Allah Because Allah is above the seven heavens Not everywhere right, We dealt with this before Allah is not everywhere It's impossible for Allah to be everywhere because that entails that Allah is in filthy places and Allah is not but Allah is above his creation above the seven heavens as Allah described himself in that particular manner all over the Quran and all over the Sunnah and Allah sent him to all of the creation and Allah has aided him 
with uh, uh, magnificent and, and uh, great signs and ayat, uh, proofs and signs and what have you, that no other human or messenger has uh, had had before. وَهُوَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنُ الْعَظِيمُ And it is this, this uh, glorious Qur'an. فَأَنَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنُ لَا نَظِيرَ لَهُ فِي آيَاتِ الْأَنْبِيَاءِ السَّابِقِينَ أَبَدًا This Qur'an, there is no equal to it in terms of the miracles that were given to the previous prophets. They are nothing compared to the Qur'an, if you really want to think about it. And we mentioned, remember in the khutbah, I don't know if you are here in the khutbah, what's the main reason why? Because the, the, the miracles of the prophets, gone. They may have been great, but they're not everlasting. They're not, the, the, the endurance is short. Either you were there and you've seen it, or you just have to believe in it afterwards. Whereas the miracle of Muhammad sallallahu this Qur'an, is, is right here. But we never met him. But his miracle is within our hands. Unlike the other miracles, which you can no longer see them. This is among the reasons, of course. لهذا قال الله تعالى وقالوا لولا أنزل عليه آيات من ربه قل إنما الآيات عند الله وإنما أنا نذير مبين أولم يكفهم أن أنزلنا علي عليك الكتاب يتلى عليهم This is a very it's Surah Al Ankabut uh, the spider verse 1551 verses 1551 Allah says and they say had had it only that some signs from his Lord come unto him Say to them, verily the signs are with Allah And all I am is a clear warner I don't bring you the signs yeah, I don't make things happen, Allah makes things happen I'm only a person who's delivering If Allah wants to show you a sign, it's up to Allah I myself, because they used to always tell Prophet Do this, do that, do that And he alayhi salam, Allah would command him That say this is with Allah They would say, hasten the punishment Come on, if you say you're the messenger of Allah Let, let, the, let the, the heavens throw, you know, rain, rocks, and destroy us. And Allah would command him to say, In ana ma kuntu, Surah Al-Isra. Ma kuntu bid'a amin rasul? La, la. Qul subhana rabbi, illa basharan rasula. In ana, oh, Allah musta'an. Now I gotta get it right. Just so we will not wind up fooling around here. Surah Al-Isra. After they asked him for all the things that they wanted, Recorded. Anyways, the, the ayah says, "أو يكون له لك بيت من زخرف أو ترقى في السماء ولن نؤمن لرقيك حتى تنزل علينا كتابا نقرأه كل سبحان ربي هل كنت إلا بشرا رسولا." After they told them we will not believe until you do such and until you do such and until you, you bring a book and we touch it and we read it with our own hands and all this, then Allah commanded him say, "Say glory be to Allah." Was I anything but a human messenger? All these things you're asking for, I do not have the ability to bring. I am just a messenger. This is the point that I was trying to make. Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. So, uh, he alayhi salatu salam could not bring what, whatever they wanted. So here Allah says, أَوَلَمْ يَكْفِهِمْ أَنَّا أَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ يُتْلَ عَلَيْهِمْ And so is it not if it's sufficient for them that we have sent down this book which is recited upon them? So Allah Azza wa Jal replaced all the suggestions that they kept suggesting that they wanted from miracles and what have you to believe in him is it not sufficient for them this Quran that is being recited upon them subhanallah هذا يكفي عن كل شيء يقول الشيخ ولكن لمن كان له قلب أو ألقى السمع وهو شهيد أما المعرض فسيقول كما قال من سبقه هذا أساطير الأولين the sheikh said so this Quran suffices everything but this is only for the person who has a heart or whom, his, whom he listens while he is paying attention, while he is present in terms of his heart being present. But as for the one who turns away, he will say what the people before him have said, this is only the tales, the, four, the, the, the stories and the tales of the, four, the first people, the early people, the early generations. It's only stories, it's not really from Allah. Al-Hasil, anna Muhammadan sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Rasulullah wa khatam al nabiyyin ختم الله به النبوة والرسالة أيضا لأنه إذا انتفت النبوة وهي أعم من الرسالة 
انتفت الرسالة التي هي أخص 